So welcome back to another episode of FC24 is Broken. This is the show where you guys send in your fails, your funny moments, and the things that just go wrong with FC24. We put them together, we have a laugh, and we see the current state of this game. As always, send in your clips to vkfifabugs at gmail.com. Put your first name, the clip, and the context as well for a chance to get featured. This clip comes from Blessing who says, FC24 hypermotion. I was playing an international match in crew mode with England, and then this happens. So we've got a player from England on the ball here, and then he plays it to another player. And then as you can see, there's some sort of collision that occurs and it sort of creates a dodgy, wonky animation. Not sure what kind of hypermotion, realism, football simulation gameplay this is, but obviously that animation is not looking good. This photo comes from Ann Kit. Sorry if I said your name wrong. They're a long-time fan and love the work. Thank you, Ann Kit. I've seen this through FIFA 22 and 23 too, and they always crack me up. They're referring to this image here where you can see the name of the team is not the proper name of the team, as you can see. Team name underscore 13, 14, 47 underscore AC dash BEA. Not sure what club that is, where they're from, but apparently they're from France in League 2. We've got this submission from Travis who says, My name is Travis from South Africa. Huge fan. Thank you, Travis. I've noticed two bugs in my crew mode save, one in my Spurs save and Sporting save. As you can see on the first clip, the Champions League card drawer is wearing a generic kit from the $1 store. Same with the assistant coach from the Sporting save. So we've got the first photo here, and as you can see, the guy forgot his suit, and they had to give him some generic jersey to put on while he's doing his important job of lifting up the team name. Take a look at the guy's face. You can just tell that he's not happy, and he knows that he left his suit at home, and the UEFA president is probably very upset with him right now. I don't know where EA is getting these generic kits from, but they must be selling heaps of them at the $1 store. Another person who forgot their outfit in the wash is the assistant manager here. Look at that. He's got the generic kit on in the cutscene. Where did he get that from? Who knows? But I think EA should start selling this as an actual jersey on their website or something. I reckon a lot of FIFA fans would buy it. Every time you play FC24 crew mode, you can put that jersey on. This one comes from Jessica who says, I am a FIFA fan, also a fan of your channel. Big love for your work. Thank you, Jess. So anyways, this is the weirdest glitch I've ever seen in my pro club career in EA FC24. When I wanted to get in clubs, I saw myself duplicated. I was like, OMG, maybe it's just a normal glitch. When I get in the match, here is the funniest part. This is how much EAFC sucked really bad. It just makes no sense, this game, SMH. So let's take a look at the footage here. In this section, you can see two players are the same, so there's a duplicate there. That is already something that's not supposed to happen. Then you load up the match for pro clubs, and you can see this match day introduction that comes up. The player in the drop-ins menu is still there on the screen, and there's some sort of trophy there that looks like a ball. And then there's a kickoff that occurs from the guy in the Chelsea jersey and the match just starts like nothing's wrong look at this so the player from the drop-ins menu gets stuck on your screen the trophy gets stuck on your screen as well and as you load into a game it's still there and you're just playing a match with this stuck on your screen what is this game man there's no words for this game anymore it just doesn't make sense it's just broken like this is so bad i've never seen anything like it this is clip two and as you can see you just have your person on the field there, but then you've also got a duplicate that's stuck on your screen. And the camera angle is so bad as well, it doesn't even change, so it just stays like that. This literally sums up FC24 right here. This is the kind of experience everyone is getting. Just when you think you've seen it all, more stuff every week just keeps coming out. So this one comes from Adam who says, been watching the channel for a while now, keep up the good work. Thank you, Adam. Playing a crew mode game, opposition got a free kick and the referee decided to give the free kick at the opposite side of the pitch. So we've got the striker and the last man there. The last man does a nice tackle. I don't even think that was a foul, but for some reason, the dodgy ref calls for a free kick. But he also says that the free kick has to happen on the other side of the field in the actual other half. How do they even get that wrong, literally? They need to go back to referee school because how do you make that mistake? This is why we need some sort of VAR in the game now because the refs are so dodgy. They've got a mind of their own. They're not even following football rules anymore, literally. This one comes from Sam who says, been watching the channel for a while now and I love it. Keep it up. Thank you, Sam. So I was playing crew mode a few days ago and the subject for one of my emails started popping up on screen. Went away when I went into a game but came back at halftime and full time. So we're in the FC24 main menus and as you can see in the middle there, you can see online friendlies, flood, loan offer. So this is a crew mode email coming up on the main menus of the game. And then you load into kickoff mode and you can see that the email thing is still there. And uh, yeah, it's just in the middle of all the menus now. I don't know why it gets stuck on the screen. But I've seen a lot of these instances now of items getting stuck on the menu screens. I think the menus are just broken in this game now. They switched it all up for FC24. They added some new menus, refreshed the design in some areas. But it's literally broken because now it just gets stuck on your screen. To me, it's sort of unacceptable to have broken menus. You know, you don't even see these things in PlayStation 1 games, let alone a PS5 game built in 2023. This game is literally getting into refund territory now. This one comes from Biropin 
who says, FIFA news section glitched again while I was playing career mode. This has happened to so many people. I think even I saw this in my own career modes. So we've got the news article here, and as you can see, the photo has completely gone wrong. You can see that the player has an invisible torso, his arms and legs are there, his head is there, but the torso is see-through, and also his gear is basically on the floor. His jersey essentially starts from his waist down. I don't know what the photographers are doing in crew mode, but they're doing bad Photoshop jobs here, man, because this looks absolutely dodgy. So this one is from David, who comes from Romania. I play FIFA since FIFA 15, and this is my first big bug. Only the first, wow. This happened in a Premier League this season. I play with Arsenal versus Burnley, and in the 70th minute, this happened. I was shocked because I paid over 50 euros for this game with so many bugs. 50 euros is a lot. Yeah, don't buy this game full price, man. Just wait until November. I didn't get a red card in that match, neither my opponents. So David said there was no red cards in that match for them or their opponent. But as you can see, the scoreboard says that for both teams, there's been four red cards. Who comes up with this, literally? Once the game goes to 5-0 instead of 4-0 in the 84th minute, the red cards have disappeared, and that's probably the correct version of the scoreboard. The other one with the four red cards for each team is fake news. Like, imagine tuning into a Premier League match, and it's the 73rd minute, 4-0, and you see four red cards for each side. You would think, what happened here? And then it's not even real, it's fake news because the scoreboard updates and the red cards have disappeared. Seriously, we can't even get working proper scoreboards in this game now. So this image comes from Martin who says, no body. And you already know what's coming, it's that career mode bug that has plagued FC24 where the manager shows up with his head, his arms and his legs, and his hands, but no torso. What is with this invisible torso? This time it's David Moyes who decided to leave his torso at home. There must have been some sort of pre-order bonus where you could wear an invisible cloak. I must have missed that. So this video comes from Brennan who says, I just saw your part 7 video and I absolutely loved it. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Brennan. Anyway, the guy kicks the ball with Ruben Diaz and Edison in the way and the guy scores, even when the ball goes through Diaz's legs. So we've got a corner kick situation. The ball goes in from the corner. There's a bit of a scramble in the box. The ball falls to number two who turns and shoots and did you see that the ball literally went past Diaz's legs it went through Diaz's legs if that was real life the ball obviously would have been blocked or stopped and it wouldn't have been a goal but in FC 24 anything is possible look at this two feet in the way two legs in the way and the ball still goes straight through it like it's not even there when EA wants the opponent to score there's nothing you can do about it the ball will just go through the player's legs like it doesn't even matter what kind of football simulation gameplay is this man Next up is an image from James who said, I made a player crew mode save in Marseille. My character, Uf, egg in French, is sent off for two poor tackles and I simulate the rest of the game and he ends up scoring a goal. So you can see through the photo here that in the 34th minute, the player gets sent off and the same guy in the 52nd minute actually scores a goal. Somehow this guy has negotiated a deal at half time to get himself back on the field and he ends up scoring a goal as well. You can't make this stuff up, man. This game has a mind of its own. 